all grow together. What's up, YouTube? So today I'm going to show you guys how to root the Samsung Galaxy S5 Active SMG9 or SMG800P. Only reason I'm going back so far in time to root something like this is because I set up a security camera system and the battery's draining way too fast due to all the bloatware. So I am going to show you guys how to not only root this, but in the next videos, you'll get to see how to put the extreme de bloat wear on it and so it'll lose, use as minimal power as possible and those batteries can last you days instead of hours. So check it on out. I'm gonna reverse this cam. All right, so for this mess method, we're gonna use a couple things. So CF auto root, we're just gonna extract all, blah, blah, blah. We're done with, actually, I've already extracted it. So that's how you extract it, right? Um, so, but it's open, it's already been extracted, okay? So now we want to use, run Odin. But first, before we run Odin, before we run anything, we need to go back to our Chrome or whatever it is that we use as a browser, hopefully not Edge, but anyways, do what you like. And then we're gonna come here to the Android USBs. We need to go to Android USB for developers, and we're gonna save that, okay? And then we got that there. Now we're gonna extract it. Pretty simple like that, boom, and we're done extracting. And now we can exit out. Oh, did I not extract it? I'm retarded. All right, let's try that one more time. Extract all, and we're gonna hit extract, and now we're done extracting. I'm gonna close or minimize this window. Let's get that. Um, okay, now we're gonna double tap it. Let's run this, and let's install these USB drivers. Um, I'm gonna pause it while it's you guys missed the step where it said yes so sorry about that if you don't know how to hit yes then please don't try to move your phone because you're gonna end up with a baby bottle when you're done all right so now we got that it's loading whatever um, I don't understand why it's not done yet but it should be done right oh loading a little bit longer there we go it's up next then we're gonna hit next and we're gonna hit install and then I'm gonna pause it while we're gonna install it's almost done installing. You better hope to God that your USB is not plugged in right now. You're not supposed to have anything plugged in while you're installing drivers. If so, then it might be okay on the newer computers. It might not, but let's just not take that chance. And let's hope to God also that your USB driver is installed properly so you can use your proper cable and you have properly got the what? The OEM cable that you got with your phone or a data cable so if you don't know what a data cable is just try to get that OME cable that you had got out of the box when you bought the phone all right so let's flip this little guy here off it's keeping this phone waterproof when it's not charging and clacker on in there now I'm gonna show you my unlock pattern real quick, and then we're gonna get into the phone, allow access to device. Oh, sure, let's do that. But first, what? Uh, reconnecting internet to internet, please wait. Exit, don't need to do that. Stop doing all that, please. That would really annoy me if you would. Come on now, we don't need to do that. Oh, that's so annoying. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to settings, and we're gonna go to... Where is it? About device. Okay, now we're gonna go down to the base or the build number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. And now we have unlocked the de or whatever unveiled the developer options right there. Now we're gonna go to developer options, and from developer options, we're gonna click USB debugging. It's on. Bada bing, bada boom, allow. Now, sometimes there's an OEM lock that I like to look for, but more than most likely that there's not that option. So guess what? That's great news. We don't have to click anything else. All right, so it says restart required, okay, on my computer. So I'm going to restart my computer. I don't know why, but if it says restart, I'm gonna restart probably because the USB drivers need to be installed properly. So let's start. Alrighty, it's just restarted. Let me get the camera in a good position again. All right, so that's better. All right, so here we go. And now we've got that installed. We are going to minimize this again, and I'm gonna to go to the CF auto root package, right? So, but since it restarted, I did uninstall or unplug the USB just in case it wasn't properly, um, the driver wasn't properly installed. Wanna make sure that's 
properly installed. Okay, so now we're gonna go to CF Auto Roots package that we opened earlier, and it doesn't show me anything, so I'm just gonna go here where it's supposed to be. We're gonna open the Odin installer. I'm gonna right click it, run it as administrator. Not necessary usually, but I do it just in case. Yes, I uh, do wanna run it as administrator. Um, okay, now we're gonna go to AP, and we're gonna go back to that same exact file and CS our root, the MD5, into the AP section, and bada bing, bada boom. What do we do? Start? No, don't hit start yet. We want to do this. We want to hold that right there, power off, power off. And now we are going to hit the home button, the power button, and the volume down all at the same time on this ghetto Sprint phone. I, I like the phone, sorry. I really just hate Sprint. Okay, so volume up, continue. All right, now we're in downloading mode and now we are ready to go. So let's hit start. Let's see what happens. It's setting up the connection, blah de blah de blah And it's good to go. And it's going pretty fast, so that's good. Um, should I pause it? No, let's not pause it. We have no problems, it's working. Cache image, recovery image, reset. It is rooted. Boom, there you go. You have rooted your Samsung Galaxy S5 active. Look at that, isn't that so beautiful? We're gonna do something so much cooler to it here in a second. So you guys wanna see those videos, check them all out if you want to. Um, all you gotta do is go to um, the links below and you'll see how to put a custom recovery custom ROMs custom kernels on it make this phone super cool All right. Thank you guys for watching my video. Have a good one. I'm out. I'm a liar Look, I, that would just be so ridiculous for me to do that whole thing and then to not show you with root checker that it's rooted So let me do that real quick my fault I was so excited about being done with this video. I have so many more to make. And hey, look, it's it's not easy for us out here, the ones that are making these videos, showing people how to do these things, because we really don't get a lot of money uh, from YouTube. I have to get like 8,000 watch hours or 6,000 watch hours before I can get paid. So if y'all would mind hitting that PayPal me link below and just donating like, you know, a little two, three dollars, something, everything counts. Um, you know, 20 bucks would be great, but you know, Whatever you can, I would greatly appreciate that. And then if you guys have a phone specifically that you want rooted, you let us know, send it in, we'll get it rooted for you. Um, we do all kinds of stuff around here. So if this would hurry, it's, this is gonna take a second. So what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna stop the video and I'm gonna restart it once it boots. All right, we got action. Let's see what's happening. Bada bing, bada bing, bada boom. It's rebooting, nothing. Uh, this does take a while, yes it does. But I believe it should turn on in five, four, three, two, one. Action, how do I know that? What is that? That's God right there. I wish it wouldn't say Sprint, and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take Sprint off there. I'm so sick of seeing Sprint every time I love this. The reason why I say this is because I had literally, when I first got a phone service, I had Sprint send me $600, $650 bill, this was be $100 for, 10 months I had to call them and fight for two hours every single month, once a month. Like, really? Come on now, you guys gotta get it together. All right, so what we wanna do is just unplug that, because that's annoying me, and we're gonna go to the Google Play Store and download Root Checker, just to show you guys this is actually rooted. Um, da -dum -da -dum, root Checker, is that the one I like? That's the one I like. Install, shouldn't take but a second. My Wi-Fi speed is supposed to be outrageously fast. But guess what? Oh my goodness, this is great. Download pending, you should be done by now. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. What's pending about it? I, I don't understand, Roots. Okay, I'm gonna pause this. So that's what the problem was, is that when you start the device, Sprint always wants to try to activate your device for you if it's not activated. So thank you, Sprint, for that. It says 100% it's installing now that that's done. So can't wait to take Sprint's bloatware off there because it's super annoying. Can't stand it. Almost as annoying as that little voice I just made. Okay. So. <laughs> Open. And let's show you that this is rooted. Here we go, agree and verify, mother sucker, I don't want to get started. Verify root. 
verifying root access installation on this device. Yes, we are going to grant it. Ask again. I, I usually don't hit access again. Oh, look at that. Congratulations. We've rooted successfully. Okay, so in the next video, you get to learn about how to put a custom ROM, custom recovery, all that good stuff. I'm going to throw those links in the description below. But it gets done a lot faster when people donate to that paypal.me link. Let me get 2 $3 for a cup of coffee in the morning. Thank you, guys. I'm out. Simplified by Dylan.